We will study pattern or sequence detector in this presentation, a very important topic in the sequential circuits. So let's say if x is the input bit stream, which is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and so on. This is the input bit stream. And in this input bit stream, I want to detect a particular pattern or a particular sequence, then what I have to do? I'm going to explain all the steps required for this purpose and here you can see a sequence detector with the green color and this brown box. The input is X, that is my bit stream. The clock is there because it is a sequential circuit. We need to control the process of this circuit when we want it to operate and we don't want it to operate and it will be done by this clock. And Y is the output. And as soon as the sequence is detected, the output becomes high and then again it becomes low. So very simple. If I detect the sequence in this bit, bit stream, the Y will be high and then again it will go low. So this is the whole purpose of this sequential circuit. Now the only thing that we have to do is to decide a sequence that we want to detect and then design the circuit. So to make you understand this topic, I will just select a random sequence that I want to detect and it is 0 1 0 so you have to remember this sequence throughout this presentation 0 1 0 because we will work to detect this sequence out of this bit stream so let's see what we can have we have two possibilities the first possibility is when we consider the overlapping and the second possibility is when we do not consider the overlapping. Now you might be thinking what is this overlapping? This overlapping is actually involved when we have to check the bits. I will explain you what is this overlapping and this is the Y, my output. I will check or my sequence detector will check this first bit that is 0 and it matches to my first bit so it's a good thing but output will be 0 because we have not got the complete sequence so output will remain low then again it will check the second bit and I have 1 which is a good sign because my first two bit that I want to detect is also 0 1 so output is 0 because still we don't have our complete pattern and then again it will detect 1 but it is our bad luck that we got a 0 as our pattern and I am having 1 here. So again it is 0. Now it will detect this bit and it is 0. So output is 0. Then again this bit, output is again 0. Then again this bit and uh, output is 0. Now there is the overlapping. I will explain you how. I detected this bit, then I detected this bit, then I detected this bit. But I am not considering from here. I am not at 1, but I am on 0, 1 because I have considered this previous bit also. Though I have checked it, but I will consider to make the pattern and I will consider the overlapping. So I will take this 0, 1. Then I have 0 and in this way I have the output equal to 1 because I have detected my pattern 0, 1, 0 and the overlapping is involved here. If the overlapping wasn't involved then I cannot take this 0. I have to start from this 1 because I have checked this 0. I hope you are getting what is overlapping and how we have to use it. You will get it when we will complete the detection. Let's see for the next bit it is 1, output is 0 but again I have considered this 0. So I am having a 0, 1 and then the last bit for our pattern is also 0 and here I am having a 0. So I will have output as 1. So you can see I have the pattern two times in this bit stream and I am getting this pattern by the overlapping. This 0 has been overlapped, this 0 has been overlapped to get the pattern and in the same way we consider all the bits once it is checked and again it will go low. In the same way it will keep checking the bit stream till the clock is high. So what are the steps required to get this circuit, to get the sequential circuit which works in the same manner? The step one, the step one is to obtain the state diagram, the state diagram and to develop this state diagram I will consider it as the melee state machine. So let's start with it. As soon as I switch on my sequence detector, I am on a state S0, which is, let's say, the reset state or 
power up this is the state from where we have to start detecting the bit stream so s0 is my first state and if i'm on s0 and uh, the first bit that came is 0 then i will go to the next state because you can see our first bit is 0 so i have to go on the next state and my next state is s1 my next state is s1 and s1 is equal to 0 very simple and input is 0 and output is also 0 in this case now if input is 1 I will remain on this reset state with the output 0 because our first bit is not 1 so we cannot move further for the detection purpose now if I'm on s1 I have detected the first bit 0 and I'm on s1 and if the next bit is again 0 I'm going to be on S1 with output equal to 0. I cannot move further because my second bit is 1. I have to keep checking on S1. Like you can see here, if 0 is the bit, then I'm on S1. And again, if 0 is the next bit, I'm going to be on S1. This is on S1 and again, I'm going to be on S1. If the next bit is 1, then I'm going to be on the next state that I will call, that I will call S1. 2 and s2 is 0 1 like in this case I got 1 then I will move to s2 with output equal to 0 you can see output is 0 and when I'm on s2 if I got the input as 0 definitely I will be on the s1 when the input is 0 and I will have the output as 1 you can see output is 1 because I got my sequence 0 1 and then 0 and I'm on S1 now you might be thinking why I have not moved to S0 because S0 is reset state and S1 is the state which is 0 so I will move on 0 because I'm considering the overlapping and I will again check the next bit for example I'm on S1 with output 1 and the next bit is 1 then again I will go to S2 and the next bit is 0 when I'm on S2 then again I have the output as 1 so I will again go to S1 in the same way if I have the input equal to 1 then I will go to S0 if the input is 1 with the output equal to 0 so this is how we have to make the state table depending upon the pattern that we have to detect now we will do the state assignment this step number 2 is state assign meant and I'm not going much into the state at assignment and also developing the circuit in this presentation I'm just giving you the basic idea the state assi assignment is nothing but just assign these three states the binary equivalent numbers let's say s0 is 0 0 s1 is 0 1 and s2 is 1 0 now using this state assignment we have to develop the circuit that I want explain in this presentation because I will devote a separate presentation for designing that circuit by using the state assignment and also you can do the state reduction if the number of state is more and it is not minimal then you can check it by the state reduction it will also be covered in the separate presentation so I think I am going to end this presentation here and once you have the state diagram you can definitely develop the circuit depending upon the flip-flop you want to use you can use D flip-flop JK flip-flop T flip-flop whatever you want want it is up to you and we will cover this things how to make the circuit in a separate presentation if you have any doubt regarding how this state diagram is been obtained you can ask in the comment section